The cryptocurrency market has been growing rapidly recently, making it a great opportunity to realize profits and find new projects. However, which altcoins are worth looking out for? At the moment, there are more than 14,000 different and today we'll tell you about a few. In this video, we will introduce you to 10 altcoins in 10 minutes. Before we dive into the content, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Your support means a lot. We can get started. The crypto universe is filled with excitement as anticipation of a 2024 crypto bull run gains momentum. The crypto market often sees a domino effect, where the movements of Bitcoin trigger similar patterns in other digital tokens. As Bitcoin, the pioneer of all cryptocurrencies, experiences fluctuations, other altcoins tend to follow suit. Therefore, in addition to choosing the right cryptocurrency, the timing of when you buy it is also important. At the outset, we will talk about a rather obvious choice, namely Ethereum. However, why are we even talking about it? Apart from the fact that Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency, there is another important aspect, namely the upcoming Ethereum ETF. Companies such as BlackRock are already in line to approve an ETF on Ethereum. We recently learned that the ETF has not been approved, but the deadline for one of these ETFs is in May. Will it be approved then? This of course we do not know. However, it is worth considering that of the 500 ETFs BlackRock applied for, only one was rejected. The world's largest altcoin and second largest cryptocurrency, Ethereum has more to it than just a crypto token. It is popular outside the crypto community too for its high features and interesting blockchain solutions. ETH is an open source blockchain with smart contract functionality typically used in the field of decentralized finance. Ethereum is more like a network updated and maintained by validators who earn ETH in exchange for their contribution and work. Many experts believe ETH to reach a valuation of $40,000 by 2030. It might seem unrealistic, but it is not really. There are several strong factors, including its broad market strategy, unique model, scalability solutions, and leadership in various decentralized applications, which have put ETH at the top of the list. Ethereum has played a vital role in expanding blockchain technology, offering blockchain projects, faster transactions, enhanced efficiency, and decentralized applications to industries across the globe. Let's take a look at the key use cases of ETH which are extensive and expanding at a very fast pace. Decentralized finance, DAOs, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, and decentralized apps or dApps. In short, there are many sectors in which Ethereum is creating value and offering utility. Industries from entertainment to real estate and even the healthcare sector are creating apps and tools based on the blockchain solutions provided by ETH. To understand where Ethereum will go next, and to gain a better understanding of its forecast, you need to first comprehend its unique model, which is unlike other cryptocurrencies. The next project we will look at is Cardano. Cardano is a decentralized proof-of-stake blockchain designed to be a more efficient alternative to proof-of-work networks. It is intended to evolve into a system with multiple use cases, governed by those who have staked their cryptocurrency. Charles Hoskinson, an Ethereum co-founder, began developing Cardano in 2015 and launched the platform in 2017. Cardano has positioned itself as an alternative to Ethereum. Both platforms are used for similar applications, such as smart contracts, and aim to build a connected and decentralized system. Cardano considers itself an updated version of Ethereum and has anointed itself a third-generation platform compared with Ethereum's second-generation credentials. The blockchain platform also has a goal of providing banking services to the world's unbanked. Cardano is a decentralized proof-of-stake blockchain designed to be a more efficient alternative to proof-of-work networks. It is intended to evolve into a system with multiple use cases, governed by those who have staked their cryptocurrency. There are several key differences between Bitcoin and Cardano. Bitcoin was developed to be a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. Cardano is an ecosystem that allows other developers to create tokens, decentralized applications, or any other uses a scalable blockchain network can host. The Cardano platform runs on the Ouroboros Consensus Protocol. Ouroboros, created by Cardano in its foundation phase, was the first proof-of-stake protocol designed to reduce the energy expenditure required by proof-of-work mining. It does this by eliminating the massive computing resources that the proof-of-work algorithm uses. Avalanche is a cryptocurrency and blockchain platform that rivals Ethereum. 
AVAX is the native token of the Avalanche blockchain, which, like Ethereum, uses smart contracts to support various blockchain projects. Launched in 2020, Avalanche aims to be fast, versatile, secure, affordable, and accessible. In addition, Avalanche is an open source project, meaning anyone can view and contribute to the platform's code. The Avalanche blockchain reportedly can provide very quick transaction finality. AVAX is used to pay transaction processing fees, secure the Avalanche network, and act as a basic unit of account among blockchains in the Avalanche network. Avalanche is generally governed by the proof-of-stake mechanism. AVAX holders are required to stake, agree not to trade or sell, AVAX in exchange for the right to validate AVAX transactions. AVAX holders with the most staked and actively participating as validators are the most likely to be chosen for Avalanche blocks. Additionally, holding AVAX tokens is also required to vote on Avalanche governance proposals. The Polkadot protocol attempts to break down the barriers between various blockchain ecosystems, allowing intermediary free communication among these networks. Polkadot can be thought of as a network of networks, allowing even vastly different blockchain architectures to interact with each other. It does this through parachains, or specialized blockchains that have their own functionality and tokens. The network uses the nominated proof-of-stake consensus algorithm and was inspired by the Ouroboros protocol. Industry experts and developers list three major obstacles hindering the growth of blockchain technology. Speed, scalability, and security. Most first-generation blockchains, a somewhat loose term, have made incremental improvements over time, but they remain inhibited by technical limitations such as scalability. Parachains are essentially POS blockchains that can run independently and be completely customized by the owner. They are focused on applications with features and programming logic that is limited to themselves. These chains serve as the governance layer of the network and are a management mechanism. Chainlink is a cryptocurrency and technology platform that enables non-blockchain enterprises to securely connect with blockchain platforms. Chainlink is middleware that connects blockchain-based smart contracts with external data, such as baseball scores or stock prices. One Chainlink's link currency pays Chainlink network operators and collateralizes the network's smart contract agreements. Chainlink is a decentralized oracle network or blockchain abstraction layer. Chainlink uses blockchain technology to securely enable computations on and off-chain, supporting what it calls hybrid smart contracts and its cross-chain interoperability protocol. The Chainlink blockchain is hosted on the Ethereum platform, which uses the proof-of-stake operating protocol. In addition, Chainlink is an open-source blockchain project, meaning anyone can view the project's code and contribute. Polygon is a cryptocurrency with the symbol MATIC, and also a technology platform that enables blockchain networks to connect and scale. The Polygon platform operates using the Ethereum blockchain and connects Ethereum-based projects. Using the Polygon platform can increase the flexibility, scalability, and sovereignty of a blockchain project while still affording the security, interoperability, and structural benefits of the Ethereum blockchain. MATIC is an ERC-20 token, meaning that it's compatible with other Ethereum-based digital currencies. MATIC is used to govern and secure the Polygon network and to pay network transaction fees. Ripple is a blockchain-based digital payment network and protocol that uses its own cryptocurrency, XRP. Ripple's main focus is as a payment settlement asset exchange and remittance system, similar to the SWIFT system for international money and security transfers used by banks and financial intermediaries dealing across currencies. The token used for the cryptocurrency is premiumed and uses the ticker symbol XRP. Ripple is the name of the company and the network, and XRP is the cryptocurrency token. The purpose of XRP is to serve as an intermediate mechanism of exchange between two currencies or networks, as a sort of temporary settlement layer denomination. Ripple operates on an open source and peer-to-peer -peer decentralized platform that allows for a seamless transfer of money in any form, whether it's dollars, yen, euros, or cryptocurrencies. It is a global payments network and counts major banks and financial services institutions among its customers. XRP is used to facilitate quick conversion between different currencies. GRT is the native token of the graph, a crypto project that uses artificial intelligence intended to do what Google did for the internet, but for blockchains. 
The graph is open source software hosted on the Ethereum blockchain. It exists to collect and store data from blockchains such as Ethereum and Avalanche so that it can be searched by users. Google is analogous in that it collects and stores information from websites to make the internet searchable. Data collected by the graph is organized into indices known as subgraphs, aiming to make querying the graph more efficient. Queries are made via decentralized applications. Algorand is both a digital currency and blockchain platform. The Algorand platform is designed to process many transactions quickly, similar to major payment processors like MasterCard or Visa. In addition, Algorand can host other cryptocurrencies and blockchain-based projects, making it a direct competitor to Ethereum. Algo, the platform's native currency, is used to secure the Algorand blockchain and pay processing fees for Algorand-based transactions. Algorand is an open-source blockchain, meaning anyone can view and contribute to the platform's code. Algorand uses an operating protocol it calls Pure Proof of Stake, which recruits network validators from the pool of users. The Ethereum and Algorand blockchain platforms can be viewed as competitors. Both platforms provide infrastructure to support the development of other blockchain-based projects, use smart contracts, and use proof of stake. However, the two have different staking and reward methods. Flow is a blockchain-based decentralized ecosystem and platform with scaling solutions for interactive experiences, decentralized application projects, and blockchain-based games. The Flow network focuses on providing a scalable environment and architecture for fast transactions without congestion, to create an environment for non-fungible tokens, dApps, and games. NFTs can be created and traded as well as other cryptocurrencies, while the crucial difference is that every NFT is unique and has a different price, which is why NFTs are known as collectibles. Flow has its own project on the network, NBA Top Shot, and as the NFT market is booming, Flow could experience rising popularity as well. Flow offers upgradable smart contracts that can be patched to fix any bugs, a finality that is achieved in seconds, and an easy way to build dApps and create NFTs with Flow's easy-to-learn programming language, Cadence. Flow resolves problems with scalability seen on the Ethereum platform without the use of sharding, instead of employing the efficient proof-of-stake protocol. In every part of this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.